Empowered by the holy light and the undying strength of their convictions, the Draenei led the charge against the demonic Burning Legion in Outland. Now, with the Legion's defeat, they have completed the desperate mission that first brought them to Azeroth. Though some Draenei were sent back to Outland to revitalize their former civilization, the majority have vowed to remain and uphold their sacred commitment to the Alliance. Driven by a powerful vision, the immortal prophet Velen believes that a great war between the darkness and the light is fast approaching, and that Azeroth will be its principal battleground. As one of Velen's chosen, you must stand bravely before the shadow and ensure that your people are ready for the war to come. Welcome to The Complete Newbie, a guide to World of Warcraft. In this episode, we will be covering the absolute basics of interacting with your character and the world around it. Each race has a starting cinematic that explains who they are and why they are here. This will give you some flavor for your character and hopefully get you into the mindset to have fun and immerse yourself in this new world. One of the first things I do whenever I make a new character is to turn on some additional hotkey bars. These allow you to store a greater number of skills and usable items onto your screen so that you don't have to dig through your spell book when you need to use one often overlooked spell or ability. To do this, press the escape key. Press the interface button and then go to the action bars tab. I suggest turning on the bottom left bar and the bottom right bar at the very least as your hotkeys will fill up before you know it. The second thing I often do is turn on the miniature zone map. This map will help you keep a quick eye on where in the zone you are. This is extremely helpful if you are trying to track your progress through a zone or are looking for specific areas to gather crafting materials. To turn it on, press Shift M. You can turn up the opacity on it by hovering your mouse over the map. And when the little tab labeled Zone Map comes up, right click it and select Change Opacity. Just drag the slider to fit your preference and left click outside the slider box and map. The WASD keys are the primary way of moving your character around in the World of Warcraft. The Q and E buttons will strafe to the side. I have changed my keyboard setup so that I no longer turn with A and D, but strafe. You can move your camera in two different ways. The first way will only move your camera, while the second will move your camera and face your character in the direction you are looking. To move just your camera, Hold the left mouse button and pan it around. Now hold the right mouse button down and pan around. It will readjust your character. An alternate way of moving your character involves holding down both the left and right mouse buttons at the same time. This will have your character move forward and you simply steer your character. The World of Warcraft is a very big place and sometimes you will want to continue moving while you divert your attention from the game for a few seconds or minutes. Turn on Auto Run press the num lock button. I wouldn't advise leaving your character alone like this for too long without checking out the path you are moving on as you can go past where you wanted to end up or in a worst case scenario run off a cliff or fly out into the ocean and die. To zoom in or out, scroll up or down on the mouse wheel. Now that we know how to move and look around, we can start interacting with the world. When you see a person that has an exclamation point over their head, they have a quest for you. If you right click on them, it will open their NPC chat window. You can then read what they have to say and select any options they may have. To accept the quest, select it and press the accept button. The quest goals will appear on the right hand side of the screen underneath the minimap. When you have completed these goals, turn the quest into the person with a yellow question mark over their head. Many quests will often simply have you talk to someone or travel to another person. This is most often used to move your character to the next area they need to go or continue a chain of quests that lead to a great reward. When you open your map or look at your mini map with a quest you will see blue areas on them. These are the areas that contain whatever it is you need to complete your active quest. The first quest you receive will usually have you talk to someone else and that person will give you a quest that requires you to attack or defeat some enemies. To attack something, you need to target it. The most common method you will use for this will be clicking on your target. 
You can also target enemies by pressing the tab button, which will cycle through all enemies within a certain range. Once you have your target selected, you need to press the key on your keyboard associated with the spell or ability to, you want to use. When you start the game, you only have one class spell or ability. Press 1 to begin attacking. After you have defeated your enemy, its body will most likely start to shine and emit a few sparkling lights. This means that it has something you can loot from it. When you bring your mouse cursor over the body, it will display a little bag icon. If the icon is grayed out, it means you need to get closer to the body. When you get close enough to the body, right click it and you will have a loot window open with all the things you can pick up. If you wish to automatically pick up the loot when you bring up the loot window, go back into the interface menu that I showed you how to get to earlier in this video and on the controls tab, look for the option called auto loot and select it. Below this option, it will tell you which key you can hold down to either auto loot or normal loot when you right click. The last thing we will talk about is how to talk. When you press the enter button, the chat entry box will open. The important things to note about the entry box is that it will tell you what chat channel you are speaking in and that you cannot simply go back a few spaces or to the beginning of your message when you are typing. You have to backspace your way to where you want to change or fix something. To change what chat channel you are typing in so that you can reply to or start a conversation in another chat channel that you, then you are currently in, simply type the shortcut to the chat channel before your message. Any of the pinkish colored channels will have the number of the channel with every message you see in it. Simply type forward slash and the number, then space and your message. For your party chat, type slash p. Guild is slash g. Raid is slash ra. And instance is slash instance. You may not use some of these chat channels for a while, but it would be good to try and use them once just so you have the muscle memory of them when you need them. Now you have the basic skills to succeed in World of Warcraft. Everything here is the absolute basics and will be expounded upon as you play the game. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.